Hello dear pupils, I'm Olga Vaskan and welcome to our virtual English class. So, let's start. To discover the topic we will focus on today, let us unscramble the word you see on the screen. Do you have any idea? Hmm, right you are, it's Kishinev. This is the topic we are going to discuss today. And during this lesson, we will try to find answers to the following questions. Why is Kishinev so beautiful? And what is it famous for? This is our plan. If you are ready, let's get started with new vocabulary words. And the first word is museum. Museum. Museo. Museum. Stand on the river. Stand on the river. A fi situat pe un riu. The next word. Right in the center. Right in the center. Chiar în centru. Circus. Circus. Circ. Circus. So, these are the words. And now, let's move on to the what's the word activity. So, look at the picture and try to name the word. Let's start. Hmm? Do you remember the word? Yes, right in the center. Very good. Let's go on. What's this? Museum, right you are. The next? Circus, of course, very good. Do you remember this phrase? Okay, very good. Stand on the river. Stand on the river. Very good, well done. And now, as you know the meanings of the words, let us move on to the reading session. As you know, the meaning of the new words, let's continue with the reading session and learn more things about Kishino. While reading, try to remember as much as you can, because in the end, we are going to take a short quiz. You can read the text together with me. Let's begin. Welcome to Kishino. This is Kishinev. It is situated in the center of Moldova. It is one of the most beautiful places. Kishinev is the capital of our country. It is big and green. It stands on the banks of the river Bug. There are a lot of beautiful places to see in Chisinau. There are many parks and museums in Chisinau. There is a zoo and a circus in Chisinau. There are a lot of shops in the capital too. Right in the center there is a famous statue to Stefan cel Mare. It is the symbol of Chisinau. So, this was the text. And now, let's put your knowledge to the test and see how well you could remember what has been read. Let's continue with the next activity. Agree or disagree. I will read you a statement. You have just to say yes if the sentence is correct and no if the information is wrong about Kishinev. If you are ready, let's start. The capital of Moldova is Kishinev. Yes or no? Yes, of course. 
It is very small. Do you remember what was mentioned in the text about this fact? No, that's wrong. It is very big. It is situated on the river Big. Okay, yes, it's correct. There are not many parks in Chisinau. Hmm? Try to remember what has been mentioned in the text. No, that's wrong. There are many parks in Chisinau. There are a lot of museums in Chisinau. What do you think? Yes or no? Yes, there are a lot of museums in Chisinau. And if you have time, try to visit them. And the next activity we will do is fill in the blanks with the correct word. So, try again to remember everything we have read about Chisinau and let's do the next activity. Try to do your best. Let's start. The first sentence is Chisinau is a big hmm, center, theater or city? Definitely it's city. Very good. Let's move on to the next sentence. There, to Stefan Chalmari is in the center. City, monument or street? Right you are. The monument to Stefan Chalmari is in the center. Let's continue with the next sentence. There is a on my street. City or museum? Hmm, what do you think is the correct answer? Right you are. There is a museum on my street. Number four. My school is on Bukurest. Museum, street or monument? And right you are. My school is on Bukurest street. Very good. There, of Chisinau is beautiful. The center or the monument of Chisinau is beautiful. Yes, there is a monument in the center of Chisinau, but in this sentence the correct word is the center of Chisinau is beautiful. Well done, everyone! To better learn and memorize the information about Chisinau, you can rewatch this video anytime you want. And before we finish, I have a suggestion for you. Try to write three sentences about your native place, your village or town, and try to describe it. That is all for today. Have fun! and learn English. Thank you very much. Goodbye.